G'day. Good morning. Paul and Pauline here, down by the lake again, where we're staying for a month. And we're reading little excerpts out of Old Testament books and we're looking at Nehemiah. You remember Nehemiah rebuilt the walls of Jerusalem when everything was nice and secure. Ezra, the priest, comes along and they build a big platform and they tell everybody to come and he begins to read from the Word of God. And uh, I might get Pauline to read that little section out of Nehemiah chapter 8. Ezra reads the law. When the seventh month came and the Israelites had settled in their towns, all the people came together as one in the square before the water gate. They told Ezra, the teacher of the law, to bring out the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had commanded for Israel. So on the first day of the seventh month, Ezra, the priest, brought the law before the assembly, which was made up of men and women and all who were able to understand. He read it aloud from daybreak till noon, as he faced the square before the water gate in the presence of the men, women, and others who could understand, and all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra, the teacher of the law, stood on a high wooden platform built for this occasion. Ezra opened the book, all the people could see him because he was standing above them, and as he opened it, the people stood up. Ezra praised the Lord, the great God, and all the people lifted their hands and responded, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. How amazing is that, eh? The priest comes and they set up a platform and he gets up and reads the book of Moses from daybreak till noon. That's amazing. And then as, as he's reading, the people stand up. And uh, then at the finish, they lifted their hands and say, Amen, Amen. How thrilled they were to hear the word of the Lord. And then they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Oh, how things have changed. People don't hear the word. Back then it was read in public. And now we have uh, Bibles in courts and in houses of parliament, but they're not read. They just, they just put their hand on them and, and make an oath on the Bible, swear on the Bible, but they never open the pages. It's in the book that they're going to find all the promises and all the goodness of God as they read what God has done for us. And it's so different these days. You know, research in America says 88% of Christians who go to church don't read their Bible on a daily basis. Do not read it. So we love to encourage people to get into it on a daily basis. Open it up and just soak it in. See what God wants to say to you. It's full of his promises. It's full of guidance. It's full of wisdom. And it'll bless you as you go from day to day. So you get into the Word. And may the Word of God get into you. And have then you'll be able to share it with others. You go and have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.